I may be drenched in mud and water, but there it is, the red-eared slider. So we're gonna move over there to where the water's a little more clear and the situation's a little more stabilized. I'm gonna get a GoPro on a show. Over the past year, you guys have seen me interact with and catch a lot of turtles. Whether it's diving with them in the ocean or catching 45 pound common snapping turtles. These animals make it into a lot of my videos. And today's adventure just might be the coolest interaction I've had with a turtle yet. Alright guys, now for the first time in a while today, I am back here at one of my neighborhood ponds where I'm going to be strapping a GoPro onto the shell of a turtle. Now this is a video I have done in the past, however, when I was looking back on that video, I knew I could come out here and make a better version of that video, so today I'm out here to make a part two. Now we just got here and I've already seen a few turtles out of the pond, so if you guys are ready, let's head on out there catch yourself a turtle. Now the turtles I'm gonna be catching today, believe it or not, are actually more tricky to catch as compared to snapping turtles. The turtles I'm after today are very in tune with their environment. So anytime they see a person walking towards them, they're heading straight for the middle of the pond where I can't catch them. So to catch a turtle today, we're gonna need a little bit of luck, a little bit of patience. Let's keep looking. Oh, looks like we got a turtle right there. Most likely a snapping turtle that was bubbling up. Could be a red-eared slider. Oh, we got a turtle and it's not a snapping turtle. Yep, we've got a red-eared slider turtle right here. That just might work out perfectly. I really thought this was a snapping turtle due to how big the shell is. I mean, look how massive this red-eared slider is. Sit over there and get a GoPro strapped on him. Oh, speaking of snapping turtles, there's a snapping turtle right here. No way, double turtle catch. Oh, it's a big turtle too. Wow, that's a big snapping turtle. Huh? Double turtle catch. Red-eared slider, common snapping turtle. I don't think I can bring them both back. It's pretty awesome. Fortunately, not doing a video on a snapping turtle. So I'm gonna let you go right back there. I may be drenched in mud and water, but there it is, the red-eared slider. One of the turtle species I was hoping I was gonna come across today. So we're gonna move over there to where the water's a little more clear and the situation's a little more stabilized. Gonna get a GoPro on a show. Now just real quick, before I get the GoPro strapped onto him, I wanna give you guys a quick few facts about this turtle right here. Now these guys get their name from their distinct features. They're called the red-eared slider. One, because they have a red striping right where the ear would be on this turtle. You can't see it right now because of course he is tucked into a shell, but it is there and you will get a look at it when we put him in the water. Now the other part of the name, the slider part, if you can see here on the plastron, it's curved here in the front. That's because these turtles are famous for sitting on the embankments and sliding in anytime a person walks near them. Now this is just about as big as these turtle species get. I have caught this turtle a lot in the past. He hangs out in this little territory here at the pond. Now this turtle is an omnivore so it will eat some aquatic plants but its favorite food to snack on are little fishes swimming around in the water. I hope you learned a little something about this cool turtle. Let's get the GoPro on the shell and let him go in the water right here. Now I do want to say that the turtle's safety and his comfortability is my number one priority. Guys I've been coming out here catching turtles since I was a little kid, I definitely do not want to harm any of these turtles that I catch. So the turtle safety is my number one priority.
All right, guys. Well, we've been standing here watching the turtle move. Uh, every few minutes, he pops up, and you can see what he's doing, which is actually really cool. But he's been in the water for, what, almost 10 minutes now. So I think it's time. I'm going to pull him out of the water, get an outro, and send him on his way. I was trying to be gentle pulling the turtle out of the water. Looks like as I just did that, I could feel him slip off, and the GoPro came off, which in the end actually isn't too bad because the turtle set free i didn't have to pull him out of the water and stress him out got my gopro back let's get an outro all right guys well how about that for today's adventure i was able to come out here actually end up catching two turtles i had to let the snapping turtle go of course but i was able to catch a red-eared slider put a gopro on his shell and let him swim and capture some awesome footage now of course i did end up losing the turtle when i was trying to pull him out of the water but it all worked out because he's still in the water and i didn't have to stress him out any more than i wanted to but that is pretty much going to wrap up today's adventure so if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and smash that like button comment down below what you think and most importantly subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss out on adventures just like the one today. I'm Raymond Tiller and I'll see you on the next video. This turtle was able to capture some awesome footage while underwater, but I also hope that you guys were able to learn a lot about this turtle in the process, as well as find a newfound fascination for these animals. If you want to see me return to the pond for adventures just like this one, make sure to show your support and leave a like on this video.